Because Victorian era books bound in emerald green are laced with arsenic. Oh. Yes, the king of poisons. The oh, problem I didn't is, know it was the king of poisons. Yeah, arsenic was used as a colorant from the 1840s to the 1860s. Hmm. In 2019, a conservator at a museum in Delaware began testing old books. She found that the Victorian books that were green had the arsenic. It can't kill you, but the flakes from the binding could uh, lead to real irritation of the throat and eyes. So check your books. I have to assume that we saved some lives this morning. You're yes. a hero. <laughs> wow, Larry, mm -hmm. thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, number eight, here's something not to do at your wedding. Instead of throwing rice or confetti, a woman in Australia asked her guests to toss instant mashed potato flakes. Mashed potatoes, yes, yes. <laughs> It didn't end well. Between sweat and spilled drinks, the flakes turned into oh. actual mashed oh. potatoes. Oh, gross. Potatoes on the ground, potatoes in people's hair, potatoes everywhere. Most people didn't seem to care. They went on with the party. Oh. I'm picturing a Pat Tomasulo rant about weddings yeah. and then yeah. adding this mix. Sure. Right. All right, number seven, all this Vanderpump Rules drama between Ariana, Tom Sandoval, and Raquel. Larry, we did yes, in last week, yes, has yes. led to this conversation. Let's talk about mate poaching. It's when someone tries to form a romantic or sexual relationship with a person who is already in a romantic relationship with someone else. Here are a few high profile examples. Shania Twain's former best friend did it when she went after Shania's husband. She ended up marrying him. Uh -huh. Ex-husband or husband? Her husband. Correct. They lived at, yeah, and then, and then Shania ended up marrying that woman's husband, and they're married today. So they just did a little swap? Well, I mean, not by choice initially, but well. they ended up, it ended up working out. Huh. Liz Taylor did it when she went after Debbie Reynolds' husband, Eddie Fisher. People do it all the time. That's why this Bravo story is so popular. It taps into a very human nightmare that your relationship that you think is airtight, they were together for 10 years, Larry. Oh. And she brings, oh, Raquel, come on with us. You're yeah. you know, happy to come and hang out with us. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, see? Mate poaching. Yes. Mate poaching. <laughs> so the moral of the story is if you go on vacation with another couple, make sure their spouse is at least as hot as your one. <laughs> is that what it is, Mike? Yeah, that's smart. Sure. Yeah. Their spouse. I think that's what the moral of the story is. <laughs> All right. And, <laughs> number six, there are some great TV show openings, songs, but this has to be the coolest. Sammy Davis Jr. with the theme for the 70s cop show, Beretta. <laughs> on your head no no don't do it don't do it don't do the crime if you can't do the time This was initially an instrumental. Lyrics were added in later seasons, and that, of course, sung by uh, Sammy Davis Jr. All right. Number five, forget about cramped cabins. You're looking at the new designs for homes at sea. Tiny houses on board the new Explora One cruise ship. Each house ranges between 460 and 730 square feet. They have private <laughs> dining areas, seating for four, living rooms and walk-in closets. Amenities include Dyson hair dryers, heated bathroom floors, espresso machines, and access to round-the-clock guest services. If that's not enough, you can upgrade to something bigger. Hmm. They've got some residents that are more than 1,600 square hmm. feet with bathtubs and walk-in jacuzzis, Butler service. Explora One's maiden voyage is set to depart July 17th from Southampton, England. Prices available on oh, the yeah, sure website. they are. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't even look them up. We don't want to, they don't <laughs> want to tell you. <laughs> We're too afraid to even look them up. Yeah. Uh, well, you probably yeah. know if it's even worth Googling. Yeah, if it, you have to ask, Larry. Well, if you can afford it, you're watching CNBC right yeah. now, not watching this show. <laughs> All right, number four, go ahead and Google baby owls sleeping, and you might be alarmed at the images. Look at that guy. Don't be. The baby owls 
look like they're dead, but they're fine. As we all know, most owls sleep standing up on their little stick feet, but for baby owls, their heads are too heavy. <laughs> their neck muscles aren't strong enough yet, so they have to lie down. Oh, look at that. They look cute. Cute. My head's too heavy. Uh -huh. Number three, do you know the story of Michael McMeany, otherwise known as Coffin Man? Oh, Meany was known for his great strength. He loved boxing and wanted to be a professional fighter. When that didn't work out, he volunteered to be buried alive for 61 days. Oh, this is 1968. His coffin was six feet, three inches by two and a half feet. It was lined with foam and a hole that he could use to relieve himself. Whoa. Every day he'd do some exercises. Uh, meals were lowered down to him through special tubes. He had two items with him, blue pajamas and a crucifix. People thought he wouldn't make it, but Meany did. After 61 days, he emerged with a long beard and went straight to the local pub for a beer. And here's where it gets sad. Meany wanted more than anything to become famous, but no one from Guinness uh, oh. showed up to record the stunt. Oh, come on, can't you just say it happened? It... Well, we said it now. Yeah, all right. I'm sure it makes all the difference. Yeah. Number two, uh, you know how some bars have the big fancy ice cubes these days, mm -hmm. just like the big one yeah. cube in the cup? Well, some people grudgingly admit that they like them. So what about this? How long do you have to leave it oh, there for that to happen? That's a lot of work. Do we care how our ice well, cubes look? That $17 drink just went up to $21. <laughs> that's right. More than that. Because yeah. you have the ice cube presser in the back yeah. of the room. <laughs> and you waited 35 minutes for wow. your drink. That's yeah. a lot of... See, I don't like those giant cubes because they're too big for my wine glass. <laughs> <laughs> I need mean, just little, little pieces yeah. just to chill it a little bit. Right. Larry. You're so cool. Very cool. <laughs> All right, number one, this is the Loved One Launcher. We'll let the commercial explain. Life is a journey. A journey that can take you anywhere you want to go, but always to the inevitable end. The loss of a loved one can be overwhelmingly sad, difficult, and emotionally draining to all involved. That being said, the end doesn't have to be a boring ride to the cemetery. Aww. Thanks to CremationSolutions.com, you can now celebrate the life of your loved one and send them out in style <laughs> with a bang what? with a loved one launcher. Whoa. A loved one launcher oh, no. launches the remains oh. of your dearly departed oh. up to 75 feet through the air, mixing creativity oh. and festivity in the oh, ultimate no. honoring the experience of a life well lived. The act oh, of scattering oh, ashes in the shot, ceremony yeah. is nothing new. It's been a popular last request for years. Oh, well, that's a real product. The, the website is cremationsolutions.com. Well, you're I always do keep thinking, you know, when people are like, oh, we're going to go to the ocean and sprinkle the ashes. Yeah. You know, the wind blows back. I can't, it be can't careful. be an easy thing to do, right? Well, it that's does. really going to make it blow back. Well, yeah. at least you're trying to get some distance. you got to do the wind. But, I mean, if you're standing there holding an... I don't know. Well, yeah. I had to maybe just dunk it in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Boy. That is Ooh. the nine at night. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> the nine is a whole lot of fun.